Welcome, Pokemon players, to another episode of Disco Discount Pokemon Decks. Today's deck is going to be a Sharpedo Doug Trio deck. All right. So before we get too uh, too much in this, definitely Sun and Moon going on here. But we get uh, before we get too far into this, uh, the giveaways are going to be one pack of Sun and Moon. So again, I been uh, acquiring some cards, so I have some Sun and Moon to give away, and uh, I will give it away for the secret phrase. Be the first person in the YouTube video to reply with the secret phrase. Only the first person for each secret phrase will win. Become my friend in the game and send me a trade offer for a Sun and Moon card and you will win. Uh, you, will, you will get traded a Sun and Moon card. Uh, a one pack of Sun and Moon. Excuse me. Uh, and uh, obviously you can only win once per video. So the cost of this deck isn't that bad. Uh, Sharpedo uh, is a, a rare card, but you should be able to get uh, a 4-4 four, four line of Carvana, Carvania, uh, and <laughs> Sharpedo um, for one to two packs of Sun and Moon. Doug Trio, at most, it should cost you one pack. Uh, the other big expense would be this Team Aqua Secret Base from the uh, double... Well, Double Crisis uh, line, uh, and that is going to cost about two packs each, so uh, there's three in this deck. So in any case, uh, focal point of this deck is simple. Sharpedo's attack, Aqua Impact, does 60 damage, plus 20 for each energy cost in your opponent's active, opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. So we are going to enhance that with Alolan... Doug Trio's ability, Tangling Hair, your opponent's active Pokemon retreat cost is one energy more. And Team Aqua's secret base. Each Pokemon is one energy more to retreat. So between those, uh, these two alone, even if it's a free retreat, uh, it should add 40 more damage. Um, so there's the focal point's pretty good. This deck's a little bit slower. I wouldn't say this is the strongest deck in the world. But, you know, this is a game, guys. This, is, this should be fun. <laughs> it's not the weakest deck either, uh, mind you. But I've got some fun wins with this deck. Uh, and I've, I've put some cards in. I, you know, as I play the game, as I, you know, I find a deck and I'll, I'll come up with this. I'll put some cards in. I'll find what the weaknesses are. And I try to find cards that complement the weakness. So we have some cool synergies in this. Obviously... Um, a, a cool synergy is this rough skin ability. If this Pokemon is damaged by an opponent's attack, put three damage counters in the attacking Pokemon. So we're going to enhance that, of course, with some Bursting Balloons. Uh, but I've found that these Bursting Balloons tend to go on like some of the other Pokemon. I, I haven't used it in conjunction with Sharpedo much. But uh, in theory, that should cause 90 damage to your opponent, which is a good chunk of damage. Um, so that's a nice ability there. <coughs> uh, or set of abilities. So kind of soften up your opponent's Pokemon. Give them a reason to not attack the ones you want because um, it's not easy getting the energy on this guy. That is the hard, that's the hardest part. If this was one dark and one colorless or two double colorless, this would be a no-brainer card. Three energy is a little bit much, especially on a stage one. You can't use, uh, you know, much to accelerate. You know, you could use like a, a Eveltal or something like that. But it, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not worth it to do, try it as a caravan, yeah. Uh, I've, I've done it a few different ways, and I, I find, obviously, the best uh, teammate for this is the Doug Trio. So, uh, again, getting our Pokemon out is uh, paramount, so we have a whole bunch of Nest Balls. And we do have two Bridges in this deck. If we get this card early, it really helps with the setup. Um, you know, obviously you want Bridget on their first turn anytime you have it, but you, it's really hard to put more than two in a deck unless you have ways to really get rid of her easily because then you'll be drawing her, top decking her later, and it's going to be problems. Uh, Revive, a uh, good card here to get our Pokemon back on the bench. Um, we do have Team Aqua Secret Base, which gives us uh, a kind of a card in opposition because Sharpedo can normally retreat for free. So when we have our base out, he can't. But we do have some switches here that help us out. So in a way, we have cards in opposition, but also we have this to balance it out and give us cards um, that are, are synergies. Uh, Super Rod, we have two in our deck. Again, these guys are going to get knocked out. Anytime you have a 
you know, just four Pokemon, no big guys. They're going to get knocked out. You're going to have to recycle them. Super Odd is something you need. Uh, it does have a little bit of opposition with Revive, but the trick is to Revive first your uh, any Pokemon, obviously Carvania, and then to use a Super Rod afterwards and, uh, and pick up the Stage 1s and get them back in your deck. So it, they actually, again... Kind of looks like it's an opposition, but also, and it kind of can be at some points, but it also can work uh, as synergy as well. Um, the rest of the deck is pretty simple. I mean, nest balls, we have four of them, three timers. Uh, we're playing a random receiver to get more of our uh, supporters in our hand. We have a trainer's mail, uh, Lys two Lysander, two V-Seeker, a bunch of draw. It's, it's a little more important to draw with these this deck because of this high energy cost, so... It's skewed a little bit more that way. We do have one uh, supercharge, oops, special charge, excuse me, to get our special energy back in the deck. And that's pretty much it. So we'll be right back with the first game after a short break. All right, welcome back to game number one. We are playing a fighting deck. Hmm, could it just be straight up Passimium? I wonder what this will be. Uh, I don't think that's good for us. I'm, if I'm correct, uh, Sharpedo is weak. I think our whole deck is weak to fighting types. So, This may not be the most ideal matchup, but hey, that's how it goes. And yes, we are going to go first because we are unlikely to attack on the first turn because we're uh, most of our Pokemon are stage 2. Yes, they are weak to fighting Pokemon, so... We're going to have a little bit of trouble. We have no draw here. Carbink. All right, so we can take that. Uh, might as well play another Nest Ball here. Well, there's one thing I failed to mention. So two, two other cool things about this deck. Uh, I'm not going to play my Stadium yet. Let's just see what happens, but... First off, you're probably going to say, well, what if the opponent has a Float Stone? You cannot, uh, this Sharpedo attack, they have no damage. I believe they have no retreat cost, so doesn't that go uh, against your card? Ooh, that's interesting and scary. Uh, but this, the basic, and I love this about these cards, when the basic has something that's useful, and this discard all Pokemon tools from your opponent's active Pokemon, super useful card. Uh, we're gonna. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the bursting balloon for now. Oof! This is tough. Let's go with the timer ball. I'll, I'll, I'll switch. So he's gonna do some damage back anyway. Uh, if my opponent does attack. Hopefully this is not some kind of mill deck because I don't think, <laughs> not only do I not need, oh, well, there you go. I'm going to take two just to get him out of my deck and hopefully draw something that I can uh, get some more cards in my hand. But All right, here we go. Can't attack yet. Nothing to do. I could retreat, but there's no point. Nothing in here. I could get the energy back, but not only would I be facing a deck that I'm weak against, uh, <laughs> but on top of it, it would be a mill deck, uh, you know, energy disruption deck, which I don't have a ton of energy in this deck, nor do I have a lot of ways to get it back. The Doug Trio does not have weakness against fighting, but I don't think that really matters. So my opponent has, uh, first of all, it doesn't look like he has much option with his cards. He may have a bad draw here. But uh, second of all, uh, he doesn't really have the ability to attack. And if he does, he may be, you know, if I get a double colorless next turn, he's knocking, this guy's knocked out. Wow. Am I really facing energy denial here? I mean, it seems like a stall deck with Carbink here. None of this helps so far. So we're just going to do this and pass it right back to my opponent. <laughs> He probably has an N or something, but knows that I have nothing here. So he's playing these instead. I'm guessing this is some kind of stall deck. I'm guessing we're going to see Raticate come out. That's my guess here with this uh, colorless. 
That seems to uh, make sense here. And if he knocks his third energy out, I'm going to super rod it back into my deck. But then I have to really consider what do I want to do. If he's not really attacking, although with Carbink he can do a fair amount of damage because of the uh, the weakness, but I'm also going to guess he doesn't have a Garbodor in his deck because that wouldn't that would be kind of in opposition to this Carbink. All right, so he's going to play Birch here. A Tails would leave him with four cards, which I'm fine with. All right, another Carbink. And is he going to attack me? He is going to attack me here. All right, so I do have what I need here. Let us... Um, I'm not going to play my... Ooh, I should not have played that. That was... I'm not going to play my stadium because if Doug Trio gets in the active spot, he can use that to stall. Hmm. So I did not get the energy I need. And I'm a little bit stuck here. So we're going to put this on him. Again, nothing to play. I could retreat and let him take some damage but you know it'll do more damage to my opponent wow I could be really stuck here maybe the other way around maybe if I leave this guy as uh, active yeah let's not kill our, our Sharpedo just yet let's do that so make my opponent earn it I don't want to lose energy on either of these guys if he knocks out my Sharpedo, it's the only thing I have to attack. Let's give him the Doug Trio for now. I have another one, it looks like, here. I'm not even playing my secret base because I'm scared that he's going to. Oh, that just hurts. Well, 30 damage to his Carbink. And he's going to lose 3 energy if I knock this Carbink out. And I'm fine with putting this guy up right now because... Hoping I'll get some draw. I do have a fair amount of draw in this deck. That is not at all what I needed. So I have a decision here. I can either attack and put him 10, 10 away from being knocked out. Or I can put my energy on this guy. I'm going to go, I don't think it really helps to get him one uh, that closer, so. We'll just do gnaw through. Wow. My opponent really uh, stymied there, stymied me with the uh, Team Flare Grunts. And Lysander. There's definitely a stall deck here, some kind of energy disruption. And of course I'm weak to fighting, so everything, <laughs> lowly Carbink is knocking me out. Uh. Can I get something to draw here? Still nothing. <laughs> All right, so somebody doesn't want me to win this game. That's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with that. You don't have to win every game. <laughs> oh. Boy, do I need something to draw right now. I mean, the Doug Trio does provide a little bit of a... Uh, Firewall there. One turn. Or two turns. Nothing I can do here. So Doug Trio is going to die. Uh, and I'm probably just going to put this Carvania up. And uh, if I don't draw something here, it'll be game over. So my apologies. This has been a... I think the word is... Oh, Ninja Boy. All right. <laughs> Tauros? GX? Is that what this uh, colorless is? Oh, Zygarde. Okay. All right. Well, that's uh, certainly unexpected. Although, I don't know if I would have done it with this guy. What's the point, right? He's already got 60 damage on him. Well, he's healing. All right, maybe that's the point, the Cell Storm. So here we go. Last chance for me to draw something. If I don't draw anything, this game over. We're going to go 
right into game two. All right, here we go. We're even going to play the stadium so I don't draw it again. We need a double colorless and some cards. And All right, we got the double colorless. No s well, we'll switch him out. No point in doing anything yet. Hold on, folks. We're not we're not done yet. Could we come back from this? It's possible. You know, and I said it in the uh, in the last video I shot the um, what was that the shiftry uh, video that my opponent was playing as hard as he could, and I really admire that. And I, you know, I feel I owe it to my opponent. You know, I'm not going to give you an easy win. So go ahead, and knock this little guy out. And uh, maybe I'll get this guy, get my deck going, and start causing some damage on uh, your Pokemon. So, All right, he's fully healing this guy. I mean, I, I'm facing a really uphill battle here with, against my weakness. But let's go out swinging at least. There we go. All right. And we have a nest ball. Should I bother playing it? Is it really worth it? If he knocks this guy out, am I going to knock all his guys out? Sure, it's worth it. <laughs> How dare you even consider not playing it? Is, do I have two double colorless in here? Nope. So let's see what happens here. 140. All right. So gives you a good idea of what this deck will do. Now, if he attacks, he will knock himself out with the bursting balloon I'll have one little fish here one ugly fish to fend off against his cupcake in a rock I, I don't know what carbink is <laughs> we'll say cupcake in a rock uh, so oh really I don't understand why I would just retreat at this point maybe try one of these guys I don't know I don't know what I would do to tell you the truth Cell storm. So he's going to heal himself. He's going to get knocked out, right? And the rough skin. So it did pile on the rough skin and the bursting balloon. I said I'd never seen that before. You know what? We're uh, I'm going to give away sun and moon cards for that. So we're going to give away for rough skin for sure. Uh, that'll be the first secret phrase. And uh, then we'll probably lose very quickly. Uh, how many double colors in here? Just one. This is going to do 60, 120. He's going to knock me out straight up, so I have to do this. I'm playing all out. No fooling around. Let's get one, two. Nope. Don't want him. Let's get some. We need some energy back in this deck. Uh, we hope we get a revive. If not, my, my, I'm pretty much done anyway, but... Yeah, why not? So, an energy would have been nice because that would have given me a fighting shot here. I could have potentially knocked out this car bank, then he'd face this one. He'd knock me out. I'm, I'm down to one. This game is over, but that is an interesting choice. Ah, because he has a strong energy, so. Alright, now we're getting silly here. Totally unnecessary. That should be 120. So good game to my opponent, and we're going to go into the second game after a short break. All right, welcome back to game number two. So you might be wondering, why on earth would I show you a deck that I'm weak against? Uh, you know, obviously I had little chance of winning that. You know, why not edit it, edit it out and not show it to you? But that's just not, A, it's not my style. You should see, you know what the deck is against whatever I play against. And you know what? I've, I've had good decks that I've had bad, <laughs> bad opponents against and unlucky opponents. And you know what? That's, that happens. That's part of the game. So um, I'm not going to present something to you that makes it look better than it actually is. Um, I am loving this hand. I so hope I don't get end. Getting Bridget in your first hand is great. This should be interesting. Giratina. Except... Uh, Giratina can stop me from playing special energy. So that is slightly worrisome. And I'm only allowed three Pokemon, so that hurts me a little bit. All right. But we will 
one, two, three. We're, we're going to let this guy die, I think. I have a feeling he's not going to attack him. What's So I have a risk here. Do I put Bursting Balloon and the energy on this guy? I think so. If he's going to take him out, let him take 60 damage. And I have pretty good setup for the next hand. One, two. Uh, can't play this Nest Bowl because of the stadium. I could discard any Pokemon too, so that's kind of cool. I have a feeling Darkrai is going to be attacking me any second anyway. Nope. I've got to knock out. This Giratina may be very difficult if I do not knock him out. So let's see what my opponent's doing. Looking for a Float Stone. But probably this is just this is just double Dragon Energy for this Dark Rise. So all right, so he's taking the switch. So he's going to knock this guy out. So, he's going to take the 60 damage, which is okay. I mean, I don't like losing the energy, but, you know, very possibly he could have just as equally, um, you know, pulled, pulled, um, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to make it more restrictive for him. If he wants to come after this Sharpedo, he's going to do 90 damage on your Pokemon there. Uh, I do need to get an energy in my hand, unfortunately, so I do have to play this in. Uh, I do not have another uh, basic for this, so. Not a great hand, but this is okay. I, I can evolve this Sharpedo here. I will not do that, though, because I, I it's not worth it just to give him 30 damage. I don't have... Any any double colorless again? That's kind of hurting me here. So I may Lysander. Oh uh, well, the Salamence maybe to slow my opponent down. So this deck coming into uh, energy problems, and I said that was the hardest part of this deck was getting that double colorless down. Uh, you know, I wasted that single energy on the first Pokemon, but still I have not gotten a double colorless. You know, maybe maybe beneficial for this deck to uh, put an Ace Trainer in, or a teammate, excuse me, so that if my opponent does knock out my Pokemon, which is, you know, this uh, happens when you play non-EX or GX Pokemon, your opponent is going to do that. Um, so maybe that's a good card to put in this deck. Hmm. I'm going to go with, I've got to think, if I put him, I could put another one on the bench, but then, and I'm going to Lysander, okay, so we're going to do that, so Sharpedo is going to stay in my hand for a little bit, alright, we got a stadium here, so hopefully we can get something going, do I have any double colorless in here, I don't, let's make it hard for him to do anything. Wow, this guy's already powered up. I'm going to have to try to target him later. Because if I can't put a double colorless down, I'm basically dead. I'm not going to play that now. So let's see what happens here. Whew. I have not really gotten this deck going. Uh, you can see how good it is when you have the bursting balloon and the rough skin. You've really not seen me be able to attack with these cards. I'm kind of always playing from behind here. Hmm. That is scary. That is super scary. Oh, wow. He could totally lock me out with this Giratina. I don't know if he realizes that. And does he have a, a Lysander for this Sharpedo? Because that would be just about it again. Nope. And then, okay. But I will be afraid when this guy comes comes out. I will have to Lysander and get somebody else. Or Bursting Bloom. So still, I do not have the energy I need. Uh, I'm going to put the Sharpedo up as my active. I'm going to hope I get a double colorless somehow. So we're going to go. Let's, let's play this random receiver first and just see what I get. Shauna. Okay. So I'm not playing this energy. Let's see what cards are in here. Two car it's not worth it to play the super rod. It's not worth it to play the switch. 
Do I have... Oh, no, I don't have... All right, so it is worth it to do this at this point. Let's see. One, two, three. Get these all back in my deck. Then I could play the Nest Ball. Oof. So 31 cards in my deck. And I hope Shauna gives me a double colorless. No. So I can retreat, but I'm going to lose the energy. Uh, I can put another one back on. But you know what? 90 damage is not that bad. Let's get someone else ready. Nothing to do here. I'm not even going to retreat. Wow. I need my town map or something. So n unable to get the energy I need. And I think definitely teammates is called for in this deck. Instead of uh, the Shaunas, maybe. I'll have to go back and look at the numbers. I'm going to do that right after this game. Yeah, he's got to choose if he wants to take 90 damage for knocking out a Sharpedo. So he'll still be alive, which is interesting. Of course, if he uses the Giratina, then I can't play any special energy. Interesting. All right. He can't retreat. All right, let's see. And I do have a revive, so I'll put uh, I'll put a Pokemon back on my bench. The Diglett. Can we get a double colorless? Thirty cards in my deck. There's four double colorless here. None, absolutely none. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. There's none in here. Where are they? Are they all in my prize? Oh, man. We're going to have to do this. We could retreat. I might as well. I might as well. It saves me one Pokemon, right? If he doesn't Lysander these guys. What a bummer. And, of course, his Darkrai is getting stronger with all this Dragon Energy here. I'm going to put this Sharpedo up because all I need is a single energy. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get the double colorless now. Timer Ball. There's really not much to do here. I'm, I'm going to lose this game no matter what. Uh, I mean, I'm down 6 to 1. Uh, oh, sure. Now you flipped a coin in my favor. All right. So, uh, again, stick around. After this game, we're going to uh, fix this deck up a little bit. And it's good. You know, I mean, one of the important things to do is to learn the weaknesses of your deck and address them. So definitely getting double colorless in your hand is a weakness. Well, we'll put the single energy on this guy. Bursting balloon. Do I have any? I don't, it doesn't even matter. I don't really have any basic Pokemon. Can I play this and get rid of it? Good. So one less card in my deck. I almost want to go after this guy. Except I can't. I can't Lysander, so there we go. Will I knock him out? 140? I think that does it. No, 200. Oh, that was a 60. I thought it was a 90. I hate these up upside-down numbers, or they're right for me, but upside-down for someone else, so. All right, Dark Pulse. Damage increased. Now it's going to knock him out, but game's over for me. Um, you know what? Let's see what we get here. There's our double colorless. You know what? I'm giving a pack away for double colorless. <laughs> double colorless energy. Oh, man. Where were you? They were probably all in there. I'm tempted to play a third game, but I don't think you'll believe me that this deck actually plays well. So let's go into edit deck. And I think what we want to do is be able to get this double colorless better. And what, what will help us here, um, certainly teammates... I mean that's that's the first idea that pops in my head is to is to throw a teammates in here. Oops. There we go. So basically anytime one of my Pokemon's knocked out, I can put two cards in my hand. So we're gonna add two. What I like to do is add more cards and then cut down. I'm even gonna put three in. 
just to see. Now let's let's take a good look at this. Um, three Shauna, two Sycamore, two N. I think maybe one N and one Shauna, and then two teammates. So can we do it this way? Yeah. I think that's that's a good balance. I don't know if there's anything else that could really help me. I mean, random receiver maybe, um, puzzle of time. I don't know if four puzzle of time is really going to help me. Oops. You could see what kind of day I've, I'm having here. That was great when I got that coin flip when I totally didn't need it. <laughs> so, all right, so we're going to try it out with that. Um, I don't think I'm going to play a third game. I don't think it's really necessary. This is a pretty good deck. It works well when it does. You know, obviously the double colorless energy was a problem. You know what? Heck with it. We're going to go for a third game. Why not? All right. Game C. You know, we're going to give a pack away. If you stuck around this long, one for teammates. So we'll give a pack of cards away for that. Thank you for sticking around. I do appreciate it. Let's see if you know, and it's this is. I think this is good. Let's see. Let's see what this deck does. Let's see how fixing it. I mean, that's one thing. You can alter the deck and think, oh, this is going to really help. But until you play it, I don't think you really know. So as long as I'm not facing a uh, fighting energy uh, discard deck, uh, I'm feeling okay. It looks like a similar deck, but I'm guessing this might be Umbreon here or Tauros GX. It's funny when the uh, meta changes trying to th figure out the new decks that you're going to face. And sometimes you'll face a deck. I'm sure my opponent's not thinking, oh, I'm going to face, you know, Sharpedo Doug Trio. <laughs> All right, this is good. We have Bridget. We have our Diglett. We are not going first, which is unfortunate. Uh, I hope to keep this hand. Ooh, did I, did, I not, did I have a chance to put him on my bench and miss it because I was talking? I did. All right, so Pidgeot. This should be interesting, uh, and I wish I was paying more attention and got this guy on my bench. For once, I'm hoping not to get end. All right, we are not going to get end. That's good. Cool thing is, I can get rid of that Pokemon tool, so if my Pokemon is going to want to evolve, it's going to need a different Spirit Link. I like that. I, I love little basics that have little nice things that help you out. And here, we'll put a second one on our bench. We'll put that on our guy. We'll play Bridget. We're going to have a, f a loaded bench here. Oof. So we've got one of our uh, Carvanias prized. Not a great thing. I probably should have played this random receiver early. I'm not going to play it the second in the hopes that uh, I get end or in the chance that I get end. Uh, hopefully, I'll pick up something good with it. Mm. He can attack with the Zoroark and start doing lots of damage, but even this Pidgeot's strong enough to knock me out. The cool thing is this the Diglett uh, is a no-energy attack that lets you look at the top three cards of your deck, so... Yikes. So, I can use it in a time of need, and it, maybe even starting off the game with it isn't such a bad idea. All right. Double color this on this double colorless energy. Let's revive this guy right back. Because he we need him anyway, it doesn't matter. And now let us pray that we do not get a Lysander here. Shauna. That is that is adequate. <laughs> of course, if that were oh, if that were our teammates, that would have been a lot better. Alright, Nest Ball. We don't need any basic Pokemon, so. Not sure what to do. I'm going to put... I want to save this guy uh, from direct attack. I might as well play these and get rid of them because I don't need them in my deck. And let's rearrange the top three cards. Ooh, this is interesting. Wow. Um... I'm going to take the Sharpedo and go like that. Because I could play the Shauna if I need to. Oh, no, I won't have any energy. Nope. 
Well, then the Sharpedo will be one away. I'll just need an energy if I play Shauna, so. Oy. Decisions. I'm going to go with that. That's my final decision. That's it. So I'm going to draw a Sharpedo. I'm going to evolve this Car Carvania. Get attacked. This guy will die. Play Shauna. Hopefully get a single energy on this guy. Again, you know, the hard thing about this deck is, uh, is the energy. Uh-oh. I'm getting a well played. That's usually reserved for when your opponent's about to do something really well. Town map, always a good card to have. No. Those are good cards to have in here, actually. Although I tend to like having like something that I really need if I'm playing a town map. Uh, he doesn't need these, most likely. Floatstone and the energy may go first. All right, there goes the spirit link. So Mega Pidgeot. It's going to do 130 damage. And I'm starting to wonder if I should have played a third game at all. <laughs> all right. There we go. Bye, Diglett. Come on. Let's go. Let's let's get this let's get this moving a little bit. So we know what we're drawing here. Do I need to play Super Rod? I don't. Shauna. Again, if I had a teammate instead of Shauna, this would have been so much better. I would have all the cards I need right now. Some more thought. Maybe getting the third one in wasn't such a bad idea. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, it's going to be like this today. So, I'm going to retreat with the Sharpedo. This is what I feel like I've been doing all day. Like, hmm, who do I want to let my opponent kill? How about this guy? That was just, oh, man. There's, there's a good amount of energy in this deck, so we'll play the timer ball. Hopefully get this guy as a Sharpedo. Alright, so we've given away three packs of cards. There's going to be a fourth at some point if I can fight back the tears and just get something going here. So far, this has been like the search for energy. And again, may, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe uh, Doug Trio isn't the right um, complement to this deck. I, it, this deck has fared me pretty well yesterday. Uh, you know, maybe I was getting lucky draws. Maybe this is unlucky here. Maybe I just need straight up more energy in this deck. Uh, maybe I need something. I, somebody that's gonna uh, accelerate energy. So, a couple of thoughts. Maybe putting experience shares on these guys. There's a lot of different ways to go. So. Maybe more teammates. Because obviously, this is going to be my third Pokemon. Unless he Lysanders, which I think... Did he play a... I thought he played a uh, supporter, but doesn't seem to matter. Shrine of Memories, very good. Alright, Sharpedo, let's go, buddy. Can we draw something that will give us an energy? <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, I think we've all seen enough here. I'm going to just quit this game. Um, you know, obviously this deck is just not not cooperating today. Maybe I need more energy. We're going to concede. There's no point in making you suffer. We're down three to six. We haven't even really attacked yet. So, um, yeah. What to do? Can I look at this one more time? Is there anything else we need? I mean, the six... Six dark energy, and unless I'm going to start knocking these out for experience share, you know, it should be adequate. Maybe the super rods are too much. I seem to keep running into them, but they seem to do well. Thinking maybe Puzzle of Time might help. Again, Bridget helps early, but later in the game it was not helpful. Did not get my teammates at all. I don't have a team map in this deck, so maybe that's something else to consider. Uh, I don't even remember if I played Trainer's Mail at all. Random Receiver did come in handy. 
Uh, this is a decent amount of draw, so you know maybe I could reduce the balls in my deck because I do have Bridget. Maybe I reduce the bridges in my deck because I have these. So you know what? I'm gonna leave it to you. Uh, if you want, you guys can send me your suggestions. What what would you do with this deck? So, um, yeah, because I I'm I'm uh, after these games, it did this deck really played well over the last two games, and uh, I'm wondering what to do. So. Well, thanks a lot for watching, and until next time. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you'll know when our next video is released. Also, check out our playlists where you can find videos by topics like mill decks or cheap EX decks.